Hey everyone. Um, so in today's lesson, we're going to be playing the riff from Howlin' Wolf's Smokestack Lightning. Um, I'm not going to just show you one way of playing it. Uh, I'll show you my favorite way right away. And then I'm, in the lesson, I'm going to show you how I figured out how to play it. Maybe a couple different uh, variations. Maybe you'll like them a bit more. Um, so hopefully you'll learn something from that. And if you like this a lot, if you like doing these things, check out my Melody of the Week program because essentially that's what I do in, in those videos. But <clears throat> this is the way it sounds. And uh, yeah, then we'll take a look at it. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now the original key that this is played in, and because it's played on a guitar, is E. So first I'm going to show you how you play this melody uh, if I was to pick it out from the guitar, right? It would be like this. So the melody looks like this. I'll put the tab up. melody is played on a guitar uh, is with this old kind of delta blues technique where the thumb is just constantly playing um, quarter notes it's kind of a little bit like Travis picking if you're if you're familiar with that where you have quarter notes with the thumb but it's alternating so we could actually try playing it that way we could take our thumb and just keep playing because this is an E it's actually in an E minor pentatonic so we could try playing that like you would on a guitar where your thumb is just constantly hitting this note and then you're playing the melody uh, that way, so uh, that would look like this. Right? Now, a couple things I'll say there. Uh, notice that that slide was a bit too tough there, so I did it as a hammer-on instead. Right? Now, that can be tough for some people. Uh, one thing that I find helps is knowing whether the note is on the beat or off, right? On, on, off, off, on, 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 off, on, off, on, right? So sometimes I'll even actually take my hand out and go, okay, ba, ba, those are both on the beat, ba, ba, those are both off the beat, da, on the beat, da, 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 it's too low for me. Uh, and I figured that out. That, that helps me get that. Okay, so now the next thing I'm like, well, this seems crazy. I'm basically holding my first finger down in E minor. So why can't I just put a capo here and play it like that? Now, the problem with this is we had one note there that didn't fit in, right? We had this open D note. So if we wanted to play that, uh, if we put a capo here, we can't play that, but it does make everything else easier. So what we have to do is change the melody just a little bit so that we don't have to hit that D. And uh, what I did was this. Like, that's very, I'm not getting the fifth string at all. There's no rolls happening here. It's just constant thumb. Maybe I want to loosen up and get a couple uh, uh, just forward and reverse rolls, try to get that melody still in there. Um, so you get this sort of thing. Uh, oops. So that again. those first two notes bum, bum. I kind of want a bit more of exaggeration so I'll try to double stop them and I'll maybe instead of getting E here I'll slide into this one and um, you'll notice I'm hitting the fifth string we're in the key of E minor so G is the third so that Sounds pretty okay. That's why that third string can kind of work. Uh, a trick, and if, if you've never played any of these like kind of old style blues tunes, 
Um, it's really common to have pedals on the fourth, to hit the fourth note. So if I tune this up to A, which is um, spike on the second fret, it actually probably worked maybe better. I don't know. Let's check it out. equally as good anyways maybe I'd like that now so that definitely gets it a lot more like banjo-y um, but to my ear when we're playing something like this like a minor pentatonic thing I want to try to incorporate different styles on the banjo so I want to try getting it in a melodic style right and to do a melodic style uh, E minor is going to be a bit tough we could probably get away with it but I think I want to try putting it in the key of G so if I want to do that, I got to take that melody and put it in the key of G and you get this. Right? I won't even put that up. Um, but it's all in the, e, uh, the G minor pentatonic. So if you know a G minor melodic uh, style pentatonic scale, uh, it can help. So I'll put this up. This is the G minor melodic style. can make that a lot easier and you can try to get this a little more melodically so this is where I get into that version that I played the first time where I have these uh, double stops to emphasize the first two notes much easier because if we're in the key of G these strings are a lot and I'm more used to that then we've got this when you listen to this you listen to smokestack lightning essentially it's just a an e minor chord the entire time or if we're playing in this key g minor um and you'll notice this is a big difference between bluegrass and, and blues and later rock is that blues will tend to have these riffs so instead of just playing oh okay well it's just g minor i'll just go play random G minor stuff, there's this riff that's a melodic idea that just gets repeated over and over and over again. So if you want to make something sound more bluesy or more rocky, think about that. Rather than just playing chords, try to come up with a little melodic thing that you can play over and over again. Um, so there is a couple variations on this. Really the main one is instead of going, they just go back down. put the tab up for that one going down but if you like the other versions you know go through and try to figure out a way of playing them where instead of going up you go down all right that's your homework okay well i hope you enjoyed this uh short little lesson i hope you got something out of it and uh yeah again if you like this stuff check out my Mel uh, melody of the week program because we do a lot of these ideas a little bit more systematically with the roles. Um, okay, till next time. Bye.